Hey guys, this is Abhishek from Gadgetsuits.com and today we are here at the Carbon event and we have a new phone with us which is called the Carbon Mac 5 which is an affordable Android phone which has been launched for a price of 6000 rupees. For 6000 rupees you are getting a very good phone in terms of the overall look and feel, a decent phone in terms of build quality and a decent phone in terms of hardware specs. Talking about the back, we can see that we have 8 megapixel camera at the back which is an autofocus camera. It can record high definition video and we have a big LED flash over there as well. On the top you can see that we have a 3.5 mm jack and one thing which is good on this phone especially for the price that they have given an IR blaster on this device which is definitely a good thing because you are not getting IR blaster on other phones in this price segment so you can actually use this phone to use it like a TV remote and you can connect it to your other consumer electronics as well. Talking about the front we have got a 5 megapixel camera at the front which is a fixed focus camera and we have also got LED flash on the front as well. We have nice metal metallic earpiece over there and the proximity and mid light sensors are also there. The display is good again not too great. Wing angles are also decent. Again it is an IPS TFT display which gives you decent wing angles and the color production is nice if not great. Talking about the bottom we can see that we have touch back button which are there at the bottom of the phone but they do not have backlit LED, LED so this is just a pain there is no backlit LED on these buttons at the back we can see that we have carbon branding over there and the loudspeaker is on this side and again we have the volume locker and the power and speed key both of these buttons are plastic buttons and they give you good amount of feedback as far as the, the loudspeaker is concerned the loudspeaker is going to be muffled when you basically place it like this or place it on a table flat on its back let's take a look over the connectivity as far as sim card is concerned we have two sim card slot on this device which will support 3g and we have a SD card slot as well you can actually expand the storage of this device by using an SD card and you can install applications on the SD card as well. We have a 2200 mAh battery which should be able to give you around one day of battery backup. The display size of this device is 5 inch and we have got a 5 inch high definition display on this phone which is good and again the pixel density is good and I do not see any pixels even if I take a closer look. So in terms of specification it is a pretty good phone but it is actually targeted for the masses and again you are getting good specification for the price. Let's take a look over the messaging application and here we have the messaging application. If we take a look over the keyboard this is how it looks like. You do have swipe to type supported on the keyboard. This is a custom keyboard you can easily type on this device without any issues which is good and again it feels nice but it is not a very fast keyboard this is something which i can notice this is the swift, swift key keyboard which is coming pre-installed apart from that if we take a look over the application drawer these are the applications which are coming pre-installed there is some blotware on this device but not too much of blotware is there let's take a look over the settings and find out what all we have as far as internal configuration is concerned first of all we will find out the version of android so we have android 5.0 which is not the latest but still lollipop it is which is good let me just go back and take a look over the storage scenario and on the storage front this device has got 16 GB of internal storage out of that 11.54 GB is available to the user which is good and there is not too much of blockware on this device which is something which I really like. Here we have the running applications and we will just find out the current status of the RAM and we have 1.5 GB of RAM free out of 2 GB so this will be good for gaming you can play games and some high definition games can also be played. Let's take a look over the camera performance before we finish this video and we would like to show you what kind of camera performance you can expect. So here we have the camera interface which is the regular MediaTek interface. It has got a MediaTek processor which is 6582, 1.3 GHz quad core processor it is and when it comes to focusing, the focusing is good but not great. It is good in terms of the overall interface, what kind of um, the kind of uh, UI the camera offers is good but it can be difficult to focus on certain objects. Let me just take a photo right now and show you the clarity of the scene. Let me take a photo of this Swiss power bank. And let me take a photo from the front camera. I have also taken some more photos before doing this video. So we have taken both the photos and this is how the front camera look like. So this is how the photo look like which we have taken from the front camera and again it is good enough in terms of the details. It is not too great. You cannot take very clear photos especially from the front camera whenever you are against light. As you can see there is a lot of light over here and over there. But it has handled it pretty well I would say. I can still see myself which is more important. So you can take good photos from the rear, uh, from the front camera and from the rear camera you can get good amount of clarity on the photos which you take and the color production is going to be nice as well. I have taken some more shots. This is another shot which we have taken from the rear camera and in this one you can see that we have good amount of details and the colors are also nicely produced. 
and this is another photo which we have taken from the front camera when i was doing the other video and this is looking nice so in terms of the camera performance it is good enough for the price you are paying so in case you have any question for this device you can leave your questions in the comment section below you can like this video this video help you by clicking the like button below you can subscribe to our youtube video channel for more videos like this by clicking the subscribe button below thanks for watching this video this is the shake signing off thank you